Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I'm doing a fun resin project on a California wood cutout. So I pre-primed some of it because I want to part of the bare wood showing. And this cutout is from Fluid Art Co. By the way, they have all different states and a bunch of other cutouts that are really cool to do resin art or acrylic pouring or whatever you want on them. Now I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin and the colors that I'm using are Alumalite Ocean Blue Dye, the Alumalite White Dye, and then also a Polycolor Sky Blue Mica Powder. And I'm mixing up two different blues, basically a dark blue, which is this, this one, and that's the mica powder mixed with the dye, and then a lighter blue, which is just the mica powder by itself. And then the white dye I will use for the foamy waves. Now to prime this board, I just spray painted it with some white spray paint. You could use uh, gesso or whatever you'd like. I have it raised up on some cups here and I'm starting off with my blues for the water. And I do plan on painting the sides because I don't think this resin is going to really stick very well to the sides but I'm kind of just pushing it over anyways to uh, have my design kind of continue to run over the sides. And I'm blending my blues together a little bit here. I'll blend them a little more when I get the heat gun out, but I'm kind of starting that process. And then right underneath my blue, I put some clear and that is where my wave line is essentially going to go. And what I do is I put down some clear and then I put the white on the other side of the clear so that the white doesn't just directly mix with the blue. It's got a little buffer there essentially. And um, I'm not putting a lot of white because the white can really take over. You don't want your wave taking over your whole thing necessarily. And you can always add more if you'd like. I'm using an Amtake heat gun. And obviously this is a pretty small piece, so I don't need to do a lot to it. So I heated up my, all of the blue first, then the white, and then I pushed the white up into the blue as far as I wanted it to go. Then I took my stick and applied a little more white just to kind of clean up my shoreline. This isn't necessary, but definitely an option if you want to get a bit of a, a cleaner line there. And that is it for this layer. So this is what it looks like dry. Um, it's a little hard to see through the camera how awesome it is, but a lot of really cool detail. And at this point, if you want, you can do a second layer. So let me know down in the comments if you think I should do a second layer of waves. Otherwise, um, I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you all next time.